see if I get it right this time. Hello everyone and welcome. It's Thursday again. <laughs> I've just got to give everyone a little bit of more. I should really have it like a, um, an, uh, an intro screen where people get to join without me saying hello about a billion times. So I already see some familiar faces and we've got Ola Jetgrove still keeping that uh, Jetland the nickname. Happy to see that. And we've got Jen Abbott Creates, nice one. Uh, two that I really recognize, very frequent uh, visitors here and uh, everyone else here, everyone's welcome. Good evening, off the rails, Bucky Pro Gamer, Manny. Sorry if I'm missing a few. Uh, Maze Square, welcome everyone. Welcome to join. Sorry for leaving you a little bit last uh, week. Uh, it was uh, a last minute uh, emergency vacation <laughs> to uh, a hotel with the uh, kids and uh, my wife. So we, we decided to leave on a short notice because the kid had a uh, sport love in Sweden, which is uh, a bit of a week, vacation week. And I've been working a lot during the week, so we thought, okay, let's just go for a break. And then it happened that I had to drive on the Thursday. Uh, so it was a good time. We relaxed and now uh, we caught some uh, bug. My daughter did because <laughs> we were away. Everyone's out of COVID uh, stuff and then you catch whatever. So welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello from China, Peter Payne. Welcome. Welcome from Sweden. Igor, hello, hello, Mike. A lot of people uh, coming in. Andy, Charlie, Charlie Tuna. I noticed that I picked the names that I, I can easily say because my vision is poor and <laughs> it's difficult <laughs> to say names. So sorry if I'm missing a few. Here's some even uh, letters and uh, characters I don't even recognize. Oh, thanks. Thanks to this modern day. modern day. Yeah, it was a really nice one. I didn't even bring... Usually I always bring like a laptop, iPad. I bring, uh, I don't know, all sorts of cameras because I think I'm going to film a lot of stuff. And then, like, no, I'm going to go... I only brought my phone, but I didn't even use that one. So it was, a, it was only three nights. We had a really, really nice time. So that was nice. We went to Call Morden. It's a, like a zoo. And they have a hotel there connected to it. And it's not really open this time of year, but there parts of it is open. So we had a really good time. Hello from India, UK, Czech, a lot of people, California. I think we're spanning across the globe now. Nice. Hello from India. Actually, I'm going to prepare something here in secrecy. Well, it's seven o'clock now, so it's not really that secret. Well, bear with me just a moment. And I'm going to check something out here. Got a few. I've, I've queued up a few tabs on my uh, in my browser here, so I'm gonna check it out. And I had a shortcut somewhere here that I need to go to. Here we go. Courses. This is the one. You don't see. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I, I I know my mistakes. I usually don't show the screen, but this one, um, it's deliberate. I'm not uh, sharing it just yet. I'm gonna put this one here. Wow, queued up a lot of stuff here now. Nice. Oh, hello from Texas, Egyptian, Palmy, Korea, Russia, Netherlands, Germany, George, Georgia, Germany again. UAE, where's that? I don't even know where that is. United Arab Emirates. Uh, yeah, must be. Welcome. Uh, Istanbul, nice. Poland, have we got anyone from Australia and New Zealand as well? That's about the only region I haven't seen so far. Canada, nice. Ooh, I stopped watching what I wanted to watch this because it looks like a new game. Yes, well, I, um, anyone who's been following my channel, uh, I've probably gone on a bit every now and then about uh, creating line war. So it's going to be line war, but um, it's going to be interesting. Procedurally generated maps. Yeah, I should cover that. Uh, it was an interesting journey. I spent the whole Christmas uh, holiday, <laughs> two weeks, and I could not let it go. I had to, to do the procedural maps. But, you know, when my brain gets onto something, I can't really let it go. Nice, a lot of Alaska we've got here as well. Brazil, Colorado, nice. I love Line War. Nice, Addison, Martin. I'm actually loving it too. Oh, five, yeah, it's 5 a.m. in Sydney. Well, don't they set their schedule? Should. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I think we've got, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm blocking my own uh, display here. I'm such a noob. Uh, 156 viewers. Okay, let's get started officially. Hello, 
everyone and welcome. It's Thursday again and we're going to do a live stream. Uh, last week I was away, like I just mentioned, uh, I did an emergency premiere that I recorded just before so you could get some uh, low poly modeling tips. So if you're into low poly modeling or if you want to learn that, check out that one. And I'm hoping to update my, my uh, one of the most successful videos I've ever done. It's uh, the low poly modeling video and I'm hoping to update that one because it's getting quite a lot of views and I think I've learned quite a, a few new tricks since then. So I should try to compact it as well, I tend to go on a little bit too much. So, uh, that was last week. This week I'm going to play my own game and we've had such a, a fun time the past uh, month and a half. It's been so busy I haven't even uh, been able to keep track of what I'm doing, hardly. <laughs> uh, but we participated in something called Steam Next Fest with our game and Steam Next Fest is, uh, it was a, a free week where you submit a demo for an up and coming game that's going to be released and we submitted Line War because we're going to release it very shortly. It's, uh, well, spring 2022 so just any, we just spike like hitting the correct date now. So we participated in Steam Next Fest and uh, we didn't really know what to expect but we had a great time and a lot of people uh, are uh, were playing it. Um, actually, in fact, let's bring this up. I've got this little infographic here that you can do. Check this out. I'm such a, a high-tech uh, streamer now. I've prepared this in advance. How nice is that? I'm even still in frame. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Well, I'm probably streaming the wrong thing anyway. Never mind. So Steam Next Fest. Let's see what happened then. Uh, we had Line War there, and we created a lot of uh, cool, like some, well, cool. Well, I, I made some graphics. <laughs> uh, but we during that one, we had uh, of the demo, we had 9,151 downloads, and daily average users was 1,042, and maximum daily users was 1,577. And also, that was the Steam stats, but then also we have our backend stats, so stats. So a lot of people played the game, and we had uh, the actually, because you can go into the game and just, either you just download it like I do. I buy loads of Steam games, and I don't play them yet, because I have this vision that I'll find time, and I'll, I'll sit and have a cup of coffee, a beer, and I'll play them. Never get around to it, half of the games. Some I do, but most, unfortunately, it's still waiting there for, for that golden period of uh, my life where I'm going to be able to play a little bit more. Never mind, I digress again, but um, what I was going to say, yeah, so a lot of people downloaded the game, but not everyone probably installed it, maybe they'll get to it, or maybe they just downloaded it just in case. So, but we have backend stats, so people, we don't see, you know, in our stats, we don't see people that spend some time in the sandbox, maybe they want to learn how to play the game, maybe they're too afraid to click the play now button, because you might get scarily matched up against someone across the interwebs. <laughs> and uh, so we had 2,711 people. 2,711 players actually play a match or more and there were 5,371 matches and uh, people spent 4,470 hours playing Line War, which is cool. And just a bit of curious uh, for curiosity, 2.2 uh, million units were produced and 1.4 million of those units were, uh, I'm sad to say, they were lost. Uh, but And then we had four. 132,000 conquests of territories or conquering. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just gonna... Uh, oh, what I was meant to say as well, if you go to this page, check this out, I'm gonna prepare here. If you go to the Steam page, link in the description, then you can check this out. There's actually this one, download Line War demo. So you can still download it today. We were going to keep this one, uh, maybe take it off after Steam Fest and prepare it for a release, but we've decided to keep it playable because uh, it's helping us a lot as well to scale the backend. We've built this uh, backend uh, dynamic scaling in the cloud, so it's uh, spinning up a lot of servers through APIs and it boots them up and then uh, as players connect, uh, it'll start up more servers and as people disconnect and it becomes maybe a little bit more quiet, then it shuts them down and deletes them off the... We're using Vulture as our uh, provider. Should really do a video about that one because it's been a quite a cool experience. There's a lot of work, but we were surprised at how well it works. So it just monitors the number of active sessions and when needed, starts up a brand new Linux server, installs uh, six or seven copies, seven at the moment, copies of uh, Line War on, oh, no, six <laughs> on one instance, starts that one and uh, starts serving all the one, all the players and it auto updates itself. And then once it's finished and we don't need it anymore, it'll automatically shut down and delete itself. So it's been a really cool experience. We've learned so much from it. So the demo is still active here. Uh, go to the link in the description, Line War, just search Line War in uh, Steam here. Check out this, we updated the graphics a little bit and scroll down, click download demo and play it. So in this video, I'm gonna play some uh, players actually. I'm gonna, uh, I've got a couple of guys that I've, uh, I'm gonna challenge in just a moment. Before that, just wanted to mention a few more things, update, we've uh, just released uh, this thing, which is the, the Line War, uh, it's a leaderboard. 
So we have lots of uh, people here and we've implemented something called uh, True Skill, which is uh, a ranking system here by um, by Microsoft and it's used by a lot of games. We were going to use Glico 2 first, which is common in chess, but True Skill for anyone who's into game development might be good to know that True Skill algorithm takes uh, it can also uh, handle team games. So if you have 2v2, 3v3, it can actually identify the score of an individual player and rank them. So we've implemented this one, and for anyone else who's that game dev curious, uh, we grabbed this one, uh, Moser Ware's uh, skill. He's uh, done a really good uh, blog post, actually, this one. You should check this out. If you want to read about computing your skill, there's like a, a huge blog post here about how the system works. It's a beautiful algorithm, really, that can predict uh, match history by just submitting two numbers. So won't go into any details here, but uh, if you're interested in implementing skill-based uh, matchmaking or a ranking system, you should uh, maybe scroll or scroll back in the video. Can, can you do that? <laughs> Rewind, it's called, uh, and check these out because um, these are, uh, it's been a, a good experience so far. So, what? Oh. Okay. And just as I say that, uh, the demo ghost comes along. I don't know. I'll uh, ask why, why that is happening. It's probably me. I've done something stupid. Uh, so we've got a ladder anyway, and the skill-based uh, system will uh, use that ladder. Hopefully I can still uh, connect here. Let's figure it out. Uh, what else? Uh, there's also been uh, some streamers that have been picking up to play the game, and uh, one of the more profiled high ones is uh, Raptor. So he streamed this game for, I think it was, yeah, two and a half hours. And uh, it was fun. He's got a million subs, and he did uh, he even watch the tutorials in the beginning. And then uh, he had a, a good place through there. And then we've got some other ones. We've got Retromation here. Uh, they've also they've played five matches of Line War now, which is pretty cool. And he plays against uh, Orbital Potato here, <laughs> another uh, YouTuber here. So it's uh, and then we've got this one. Uh, Antic has created a lot of uh, videos here about Line War. So it's fun to see these things starting to come together, getting a lot of. Uh, uh, coverage of the game, and I think that helped a lot to, during the release here. So we've got 42,000 and 49,000 views. So I'm uh, excited about this one. We're both, uh, be, both me and Basantos, the other developer here. Uh, one more thing before I check the chat history and start playing is uh, that I've been speaking to these people, Game Dev, game dev TV, Rick Davison here, and uh, T uh, Tim Ruswick, uh, one of the independent uh, game developers who's actually working with these guys. And I think I mentioned this uh, in two vi videos ago, and uh, I've been speaking to them about the potential cooperation, so I'm going to try to get you guys some, a really good discount if I can. So uh, stay tuned for that, and maybe maybe in the future when time allows, I, I'd like to uh, create a course, because I've been thinking about making a course at some point, and creating like a game in Blender and uh, Unity would be quite cool to cover, I think. So uh, look out for that. And I was in their podcast as well. So if you go there, these are free, so search for the... Uh, either you can grab the URL from up here, you have to type it in, or maybe I'll put it in the description. But these are free courses, and uh, I actually did a podcast with them, and it was called Launching a game, a Steam Game with Stefan Passion in Fencia. That was a lot of fun. We spoke for about an hour and a half and had a really good time. It was me, Rick, and Tim, and uh, it was just a really cool chat. And a lot of the viewers on my channel will know Gant. Uh, I say Gant. It's Grant Abbott, and he creates courses for these guys, so pretty cool. Okay, let's check out the chat. I think I missed uh, some really important stuff. Jules Wombat, this is a bribe. I have lost all my Line War games. Make me win. Okay, noted. <laughs> if Jules, Jules Wombat end, ends up at the top of the leaderboard, then uh, I will um, not be suspected of any sort of bribery. But thanks a lot for your contribution. Really appreciate it. And let's see. I think that was... Uh, I probably missed another thing. Arvid is late. That's okay. I'll, uh, yeah, it's my my usual introduction. So here it comes. Here it comes. I'm uh, gonna play now. Gonna play. So I'm gonna switch the music off. That was disturbing me a little bit. Don't know why. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. So I'm gonna switch to. Uh, this now. Hope you caught all that info. That was a lot of information in a, in a very small amount of time. And now I'm going to change, challenge some of the Discord players using the demo here. And remember, it's freely available to download, so you should check it out and download it. Hey, listen to Elijah Roberts' cinema here. He's got a really, really good point to make. You know, this it actually looks like a really cool game doing the tutorial now. You'll recognize the voice in the tutorials. 
I tried to ma make it sound official, like a proper tutorial. Maybe a little bit too uh, overexcited about that one. So, let's check it out. Uh, will this work? Uh, waiting for a game. I'm going to see if this works now. Hopefully, pick up my game. There we go. And it's line war. Hopefully, the aspect ratio is correct because I've got a, a ultra, ultra wide screen. So, I've um, fiddled a little bit with the uh, Steam Labs here so I can nearly play on a full screen and hopefully everything's all right. So, I'm going to go to challenge here. And we've got a few guys, and uh, the one I'm going to challenge first, and uh, this guy, let's see, where is he? Hako, let's see if he uh, is available. So sent a challenge, this is how you do, you can do play now as well, and just randomly matchmake, and oh, he already accepted my, I think, um, he was waiting for this one. Hako and me have played two matches, and uh, the first one was undecided, because unfortunately he dropped his connection, his computer crashed, hopefully that won't happen again. Then we played a second match, and... Uh, I thought I was doing really well, and you should check out that replay. It was a really, really good match, and we share it in our Lineward Discord. I should share that link as well, <laughs> but that's on the Steam page. Hello, Hako, and uh, he d I, won't, I won't reveal anything, but it was a really, really good match. We both came out of it uh, super uh, excited and nervous, and it was a really good game. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about this game now, and if, if this one's over fast, uh, I do have a couple of other guys that wanted to play, and if I don't make, manage to do that today, I'll try to m match up uh, against them another day. So here I am, going to play my own game. Well, I say my own game, and by that I mean me, mine and Basanto's games, of course. It's two of us that's created this game, and it's taken us nearly three years now, but it's uh, so exciting that we're getting really close to release now, and it's going to be fun. I, I talk too much. Hello. All right, so... Yeah, this is PvP, and in the future maybe we'll add some uh, some single-player stuff, but for now it's PvP. Oh, gorgeous graphics, thanks. Glad you like it. We actually like it. As soon as we see a screenshot, we really recognize uh, that it's line work, because it's got quite a distinct, uh, crispy, saturated look. A lot of the uh, RTS games have got uh, dystopian, kind of dark, but really high-quality looks, of course. But this one's quite easy to recognize. Uh, you can pick a map. This is when you play against someone, we encourage you to actually talk to the other person and you just hit enter up and down. Well, not up and down. <laughs> you just hit it down and it goes back on its own. And then uh, you can chat to people. So that sounds a little bit scary probably. So he's going to pick a seed now. He's probably, he's going to grab a seed now that he's uh, really practiced a little bit. So stick design, play versus computer too. Not yet. Um, it's a bit like, uh, I, I jokingly say, it's a bit like tennis. It's best enjoyed against someone else. You could play against a wall maybe, not that much fun. Uh, but I know there's a huge request for single-player modes, and at, at some point we, we plan to add them. But the reason why we don't add them straight away now is because uh, we would have to rework a lot of stuff and do double maintenance of everything that we do. Um, so it's better that we implement all the technologies and the last unit now and make everything a really good player experience. And when that's done, then we could add uh, single-player experience after that. So. As uh, Chris, De ooh, uh, Kadoink, right? So Chris Delpierre is one of our earliest alpha testers and a very decorated one. He's actually doing pretty good in the ladder as well. So I uh, hope I didn't get your name. Chris, that's you, right? Kadoink? Yeah, Kadoink. That's good. It's not much latency on this thing. So you can just click uh, random here, and when we find a seed that we like, we usually just uh, write it down and share it in the Discord, and then we come back to it. So. Uh, maybe we should, uh, sometimes you step through quite a few that you like, oh, do I feel like a water map? Oh, this one looks cool. Hey, let's go for this one. Oh, you skipped past it. 31408. I'll remember. No, no, no. 19, 14, 35. This one's too small. Uh, I'd, I'd go back to 31408, maybe. Or this one. I'll play anything. I don't even know. Are you going to stream snipe me, actually? Are you going to snipe me on my own game? <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm going to try to look at the chat as well. That's super distracting when I when I play. Sorry, I don't mean that you're a distra distraction, of course. How can I say something like that? I think he might have looked up a C now. Six. No, no, no. It's still randomized. You get to see a lot of maps this way. Please try to make a tutorial on how to create multiplayer FPS shooter game. Perhaps an eight-minute video will suffice. Oh my god, how would I even fit? I can't even fit an intro into eight minutes. How am I going to fit a, a, an FPS tutorial? That would be a challenge. But I haven't actually even made a FPS game ever. 
I've um, just made a lot of the quirky little uh, platformer style games and stuff. And then I made Lion War, of course, at RTS. So at some point, I should really tackle the RTS, uh, FPS genre. Got Alexis. Hey, Infensia, I'm Dirtia. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, from the Discord server. Have a great match against Haku. He's a very good player. He is. He's higher than me in the ranking. Let's go for this one if you. Let's, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do it. So, <laughs> yeah, 10 minute game challenge. I'll make a FPS in a. No, this is a huge map. Yeah. It's... All right. So, when we click ready now, I'm just going to scout this a little bit. Am I, I'm not blocking anything like super important with my face here, am I? No, hopefully not. All right, I'm going to play it now. So I'm going to pick a start location, and I don't really know if he's listening. It's good to go center map so you can expand in all directions, and it's good to be close to these energy wells, and it's good to be close to economy sites. I shouldn't really make a tutorial now. Let's just play it. Let's just play it. I'm, I'm excited. All right, let's go. Hopefully the sound is... Uh, we'll find, find out. I should uh, increase the sound a little bit on the game here. Yeah. Oh, okay, so great mind things alike. So he went for that one. I'm going to go for a lot of nice energy there, but there's also some energy there. Let's go here. Okay, we're thinking alike still. I like it. Okay, and we've got a successfully started game here. So you get to pick a bunch of extra territories here, and in each territory, you get a squad of four infantry. Turn up the volume now. Glad you like the visuals. I'm going to try to answer questions meanwhile. Oh, the... Music. Oh, we have an encounter straight away. He's cornered. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Let's go for... And let's go for this. Try to match this. Get into competitive mode now. But I, I can only say this uh, with my hand on my heart because Haku uh, is really, really good. Uh, he played really well. Not to make you scared or anything, Haku. Well, a little bit to make you scared. G Mengstrem, my good old friend, don't say that, but the uh, Skyrim. Oh yeah, something like Skyrim with less bugs. Is that known for having a lot of bugs or something? We've actually been really happy that there haven't been a lot of bugs in line where I should lower the volume a little bit. Uh, we've, uh, there are some minor bugs, of course, but there's uh, out of it's been 14,000 matches played now since the Steam Fest started. And as far as we know, we don't really have any significant major bugs at the moment. So I think most of the games have ended okay. We see a few that are ended prematurely, and some could be because of uh, dropped connections and stuff. Not entirely sure. Okay, that, that's unnecessary. Don't need to dig a defense line just yet. So one of the big differences in line war is that you don't like click on these units and say, you should go there, you should go there. You drag, uh, you create these different type of commands. And by doing that, we can actually plan all along. Like uh, I want the infantry and here, I don't want my artillery to go over here. So I can just untick artillery there. Uh, and then I can make sure that my infantryman is going this way. And I have a sneaky feeling he's gonna come with air. Hako like to play air, so I'm actually going to double up a little bit with SAM units here as well. So you can click on these producers and tell them what they should produce. I think I'll do a healthy mix here. And now I should start to conquer a little bit more. It's a bit of a positioning game here in the beginning. Hmm, Fog of War, yeah. Fog of War is good. I actually recently improved it, so it's much more dynamic now. That's another uh, tutorial I should do, because uh, I mentioned a little bit... Oops, okay. I mentioned a little bit how it works, but it's actually a bitmap that we sent from the server. Oh, he's already got helicopters. I knew it. I knew it. So it's actually a, a 128 by about maybe 100 pixel bitmap that's getting calculated on the server and sent to the client. And then the graphic cards interpolates this and makes uh, makes it really nicely blurred like this. And then I, I do crossfade it over about a second to get the smooth smoother transitions. Get off my building there. Let's get some SAM units here. So SAM, the helicopter can operate fairly safe without SAM in the area, but like these guys can shoot it if they're straight under it. But uh, you always want to have uh, some form of SAM, and I'm gonna create a little point here with just the SAM units, because I want to protect them when they're finally produced here. H am I not producing any SAM? 
SAM stands for surface to air missiles for those of you who, did, who didn't know that. So I retreated a little bit there because I wanted to, to attract his units closer to mine here. And it's very important, even if you've got a, a combat situation like this, you cannot forget to expand because sometimes you want to commit all your units. But one key thing in this game is don't don't uh, do that. <laughs> don't commit everything. Okay, he really wants to get that building up, and I still haven't produced any Sam here. But I have to move them a little bit forward here. Maybe I should have had some sort of air myself. Hako, are you listening into this stream now? He's doing good there. He's dynamically like stretching me out, and <laughs> that sounds so strange. But it's uh, a good tactic not to commit too much if you feel. Now you see. Now I'd I'd be in in a tricky situation if I just kept going into his there. So I have to retreat and and group my units a little bit more here. And uh, did I say something that I wanted a single sum, at least? There we go. There's one sum. So this one it will fire some rockets. That Vulcan cannon equivalent is uh, doing most of the damage, to be honest. But it, and it can cannot fire missiles. All oh, he got my got my building in the end. Nice effort. Looks like I have to rebuild that one. Crispy, thanks. Uh, good luck on the game release. Thank you very much. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. Because uh, I've never really released a Steam game before, and there's so many things to consider. But um, it's a really exciting experience. And a little bit scary as well. Especially when it's multiplayer, because so many things can go wrong. Okay, I seriously need a lot more SAM now, so I'm actually going to disable my production of uh, artillery. I'll have to rely on my infantry there. And I really need more units to conquer, because these are taking a little bit too long here. Here we go. Nice artillery is firing here. Artillery is like when you can see, uh, they can fire on such a nice range here. That this poor guy there, it's not going to succeed. He's not going to reach the, the line. And so everything, a lot of people think uh, that the game is slow, and it does. I mean, the, the movement is slow, but when you play it, you don't really feel that it's slow because remember that after about 20 30 minutes or something you could have encounters like this one going on over here down here you could have a, an amphibious invasion coming across the water uh you maybe you've got submarines attacking over here so it's quite important that it isn't too fast paced now uh, so I'll, I'll give you some strategy hints as well now i'm okay so maybe I was going to say, I positioned my SAM down here, and he realized that, and he sends his aircraft up here now, but I've still got a few SAMs up here. I could do some damage. So I'm going to inch my way forward here. And another thing you don't want to really do is keeping too many troops idle all the time. Because uh, you really want them to either conquer something, or you want them to... I'm actually going to build a, a barrack over here just exclusively to keep conquering, because it's really important that either they should fight or conquer, or really pose a threat to the uh, opponent here. And I don't want to use defense lines, because if I entrench into a defense line here, then they'll use a little of stamina. They, they get a bit of fatigue from that, and you don't really want to risk that happening. Because uh, I'm going to have to stay mobile and try to push forward a little bit all the time here. The music as well, I've composed all the music for the game, and we, Basanto's created a nice system that will detect threat level. So when there's a lot of units fighting in proportion to how many they are, it ups the music a little bit and creates a little bit more intense music. So he's uh, eating a lot of dust here now, or lead, because uh, he's trying to attack me. I think he's a little bit stressed because he's really cornered in here, whereas I've got all this nice green fields. Grease is, grease is always greener, I hope not. Gre the grass is always greener on the other side, and in this case, Check these Sams out. Now, now, now they're annihilating them. So I played maybe seven, eight hundred, maybe even a thousand matches of this game, and I'm. This game has only been available to the public now, the demo for like a month. So I'd say that I have a, a slight advantage. Uh, but saying that, he's pushing through with some tanks now that I need to deal with. So a lot of uh, 
unfortunate guys here in the front, but I'm, my lines are thin thinning out and I'm a little bit close to him. All right, take care, Arvid. Don't forget to upvote, thanks. You probably downvoted as usual. Paratrooper, oh yeah. I should really be looking here as well. Uh, I'm just realizing I haven't even built any, um, I need, need some energy. That's one of the most important concepts, and I've only produced non-energy consuming uh, units so far. Oh, he's got, uh, these are commandos, and they're quite stealthy if they're not. I've got accumulated sight from a lot of units here now, so unfortunately they're very visible. But usually you power drop these, but he's actually gonna maybe manage to take out the building here. But I have a feeling my economy is really gonna like outrun his now, I'll be able to keep producing units here. But uh, the benefit of the tanks there, even if it's a slow game, uh, the tanks are relatively a lot faster than most of my other units, so it can be tricky. They can wreak a little bit of havoc um, if they get to roam around here. And, okay, I've lost a lot of my guys now. That's the penalty of uh, being close to the front line, so I need to regroup a little bit. I think now I can actually probably create a d nice strong defense line here. Let's check this out. I'm quite happy with this one. They start to dig. <laughs> so they entrench here and they'll gain a defensive bonus when attacked from the front. What's going on here? I heard some sounds. This is what I heard. And this is very important for me not to lose because I want to keep that one. He's sneaking up with his commando here. Well, let's go there. This tank. I have to move the Sam back behind here. And okay, he might actually take this uh, refiner out. Luckily enough, I don't really have any energy producing units yet, or any energy consuming. I guess I could. He doesn't know, he can't see this far, so he doesn't know that I'm building one over there. His fog of war will be limited to here, maybe somewhere. Okay, so it looks like I've got to start to defend my own, my own buildings here. Why didn't he build cities or industry? I haven't gotten to that part yet. It's, uh, I'd say that it's important to conquer, first of all. It's often in the beginning of the game, it's more important to conquer land than territories, because then you produce troops that can conquer, that can also uh, be useful in battle later on, and then mid-game or something, that's what, like now, for example, I've got quite a good economy. So now I'd start, the industries are best to start with, like this, because they're the cheapest ones to build, and they're the fastest on return on investment, and then you can upgrade them, uh, like you can build towns here and cities. So I'm probably going to lose uh, a few of these things here, but that's okay. I should, uh, I've got no energy now, but it's okay, I've got another one being built over here. My defense there should be alright. So he managed to sneak through with a couple of tanks there. But I've got a lot of Sam. I'm producing too many Sam's. He's probably stopped producing air a long time ago. So I don't need any more Sam units. So I'm going to position them ni nice here behind the... And now he's snuck up here with this uh, commando. See, you don't really see that units. And he's going to try to go for this, but this tank is battered. It has seen better days, so I think just a few shots here from slow infantry. How much are you going to be able to take? Not much. Are you going to knock my uh, refiner out anyway? Let's build an airport now. Let's put it there. I'll start with helicopters, because he doesn't have any SAM units here, so helicopters will do this nicely. So we got rid of that tank in the end. We can continue to conquer here. And he's hiding up here in the forest. I have to produce my own commandos now, because uh, I, they can also detect. And we'll fill, resupply these lines here. Can you get any, give any, us any tips on, uh, on tricks and a good website? How do you mean good website? Maybe I missed something. If you want to say something to me specifically, uh, then uh, uh, do an at Infensia so I can see my name a little bit clear. I have to fix the scroll scroll wheel works outside. <laughs> okay, I hear some shots being fired. And 
in the fo see these guys here there is a commando of his hiding there he died i heard commandos um shots being fired up here but the reason why i can't see that commando is because it's in the forest which increases the stealth and then i don't have enough units in here to accumulate the site so when these guys come in here now should be able to spot okay so he's attacking me here oh he's pushing through with more tanks i have to be more careful let's produce some tanks of our own then and he's coming with a lot of guys here. Okay, my helicopter, I need them now. Badly. See, I still haven't spotted his commando up here. And I need to retreat. Okay, that single helicopter of mine is not going to be able to take care of this. I have to retreat all the way to here. I'll have to sacrifice that barrack thing. There, finally found him. Don't know how, but they found me there. I've got commandos on my own now to detect these guys. So that's how I found him in the end. So I need more uh, air units. So I'm going to put a another. These uh, they might actually take out my. How do how do you how can you afford all these things? You must have built your own uh, cities already and stuff. So let's go for more economy then. He's going to be able to knock my, my airport out here. So I've got my own tank now. Thank you very much. But I only have one. He's got four. We've got a real battle on our hands here. Nicely played, Hako. I thought I'd be able to out-eco you. Oh, he's sniping this one too. Are you kidding me? He's got commandos up there as well. And he's destroying this. Am I? F okay. Let's check out the chat here. The graphic is very good. Thank you, uh, Seon. I'm glad you like it. We've iterated and improved it over time a lot. Uh, I, I should share some videos of how it used to look um, and uh, how we've changed it. Should be fun. He's being quick. Quite sneaky. I think I'm gonna lose this airport because he must have. Did he go with air or did he have some commandos hiding there? I have a little welcoming committee here for your strikers though. These Sams will do some damage. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna actually lose my <laughs> my refinery here. Let's do a decoy here then. Maybe I'll uh, buy myself enough time to, to come back here. Come back! Will you see this before the refinery? Are you watching my stream? So many questions. And I lost that airport, okay. But maybe I can get rid of these guys. Okay, so you are... Uh, you have spotted my refinery here then, of course. That means that I've got to build one here again. And let's conquer this last bit here. You still need to grab that on. I'm going to lose this refinery, and I'm not going to have a refinery. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to do something here. All right, remember, at me with a question if you have any questions. Uh, and I don't have any energy now, hardly. I've got a slight bit of energy from my reserves, because I've not used that many. So I'll bring my helicopters to over here. And I'll have to use my own salmon now to protect here. And some tanks. I don't want to produce artillery. Those tanks snuck by. Oh, he's dropping paratroopers up here now. Okay, let's... I have to... I've lost all my airports. Let's see. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, lot. looks like I'm gonna have to... What should I do here now? Well, these lines are holding-ish. He's para-dropping guys up here, I know that. I have to go there with my own commandos to check it out. These tanks are quite damaged, so... Probably create another one there. And I need more factories now. And I'm gonna try something on my own now. Let's see what we can do. I don't have that many, but... That's great. If you actually draw a, a line here across your own, it'll... Uh, they'll give way, or that's the idea anyway. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, we've got some... I shot down his commander now, that's good. And I've got my own tank now, thanks to say hello to. So I've enabled haste on this one, there's a little Pegasus boot here, because then you can use more energy and, and sort of speed past. That's, the, that's my goal anyway. And he's swamping my tanks here, so I'll have to create oops, a separate path here too. Maybe I can split them a little bit. Ooh, he's, he's got so many units. I'm quite surprised actually. I have to keep building my eco up. I've got so many industries here that I could really use. I, I, oh, okay, I lost all my tanks going through here. I haven't even spotted what he's got. That tank's gonna go as well. He's coming with tanks here too. What's going on? In fancy, any plans on releasing it on mobile? These kind of games have a huge market. Yeah, the problem with mobile for us is that it's uh, too small. It would work on an iPad or something, probably. But it would not work on uh, on a small mobile display, so that would be an issue. But it would compile on it, uh, for sure. I lost my tank here. Okay, how do you haste your own units? You just select a command like this, and then you toggle it again like this, so you get this little Pegasus boot there. I hear power drops somewhere. Up here, probably. Okay, he's dropped them over here. I'm like running around like everyone's on the football in a football game or something. I want my helicopters down there, I want my helicopters over here. Got okay, I'm gonna try to keep building my eco up, because that if I have economy, I should be able to have these just keep producing units. You're literally running circles around my uh, units here. I hear... Are you shooting at my refinery? Yeah, you are. What's going on here? Let's see. Um, some dev stuff. Did you create all the sound effects? I created a lot of them. Uh, and then I actually bought a few sound packs from uh, the recordist. He does really good uh, sound effects for, for weapons. Very difficult to create them in Sweden. Because we don't have access to the same type of shooting ranges. So, uh, but uh, I've, uh, I've edited all of them and compiled them so they work in the game. And all the sound system to make everything work, hopefully, inside the game. He's playing extremely good. I'm all over the place trying to defend myself. And... I had the advantage of having this big open space of uh I hear my guys being fired upon here. He's para dropping guys left and right. He's probably it wouldn't surprise me if he's already like gone over there as well.
Let's see what we can do. I need to gather more units here. These some units will have to unfortunately join the fight here. I'm combating those a full on war zone here. And he's gone down here now. I can see that he's conquering down here. Sneaky. Okay, I have a, a feeling, guys. That's a thrush. When you talk, your skill level suffers every time. Yeah, I know. I talk too much, probably. Check this out. I'm getting destroyed. I managed to sort of just barely do that one. My economy should have really kicked in, but... Wah. need more units. See, it, it upped the music now. It changed the music to the... It's called Retribution Rocket, this song that I made. And it's a bad sign for one of the players, and that player is me at the moment. These helicopters I need to send out. He's sending in strike. Now that it, he's killed all my SAM units, and then now he's sending in his strikers. This is like textbook. If there was a textbook, he'd be using it right now, apparently. And I hit, he's shooting on this one now. The snipe, he's not, yeah, I knew it. Thanks to that tank being produced, I could actually start spotting that one. Okay, I'm gonna try my very hardest here to try to do some sort of a comeback. Let's see if I'm running. Yeah, he's probably watching, but it's okay. I mean, I have the advantage of playing so many games, so even if he is watching, it doesn't necessarily guarantee a win, to be honest. And he's coming with a bunch of tanks now as well. Where did you get all the money from and all your units? Are you kidding me? Okay, so I have to send my helicopters over here now, because uh, and I'm getting swamped over here. These guys, I'm not even man managing to establish a defense line here. So come back here. Let's do. Uh, and he's. Check that. They even survived. He's gonna power drop here. Luckily enough, I've got like a couple of guys here, but. That plane did not have much of a life to, to go for. Come on. Everything on here now. Everything needs to come here. I need to save my airports. Come on, helicopters. Let's get rid of these. Let's retract my defenses. And come on, helicopters. You need to really deal with this. And let's just create a whole bunch of barracks. Is he, he destroyed one. The good thing with the... Oh. Hako. What are you doing? You destroyed both my airports now. The... Luckily enough, the helicopters aren't all lost. If I had aircraft, they'd uh, get killed because they they need somewhere to land. But uh, the helicopters don't. So that's a good thing. I'm going to try to just keep going for eco here. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can just out eco this thing. And let's get the helicopters running again here. You need to take care of that. And you guys need to come down here. Like I said, it looks slow. But it does not feel, it doesn't feel slow, let me guarantee that. So I have to move my defense line over here now. Come on, these tanks should be gone at least. That tank will be gone. And I need to still up my eco here. Eco, eco. Because if I can just get these producers. But I, and I need to switch to some. So I'm getting rid of those tanks, but I need more anti-air. So, how's it going over here? This is okay. I'll check out my defense lines. They're like empty. I have to release that defense line and advance. Come on now. So that one just barely managed to survive there. I have to get my helis down here again. He's starting to mount up with some now, and I don't really have any... 
anything to counter that. Getting rid of buildings for me. These defense lines are very, very empty at the moment. I'm just gonna have to keep producing like structures to de to try to produce something. I mean, I, my eco is really good economy. Jules, you should just stick to modeling in Blender. I know I'm losing at my own game. This guy's just started to play the the thing. I was gonna swear there near enough. This is a child friendly stream. So you send in your strikers now that I have no anti air. Is that the deal? Okay, so my barrack there is gonna go. But let let me tell you what. I'm going to produce more Sam then. And I have to stop producing tanks now because I need Sam instead. Check out these lines, they're empty. Uh, and I should keep the helicopters down here actually because... Okay, need even more Sam. And we're not talking Uncle Sam here. Okay, the, that defense line fell, so I'm pushed all the way back to here. I have to retract my defenses all the way to here. And now I'm gonna go for... Should I try this? this is, he's gonna be sw sw swarming down here, probably. Well, let's try anyway. And he's getting his Sam there, so now I'm gonna get my... Helis up to here. Am I not producing any units? What's going on here? And he's coming with more tanks. Okay, let's just keep building. Oh, these tanks are gonna get swamped. I need to re retreat, 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 retreat. Okay, helicopters, you have to operate here now, back home. I have to retreat with you. I have to go back to my own house to try to... Come on now, intercept those tanks. And let's just keep building buildings then. I have to... And he's attacking my structures in here too. Are you not producing anything? I must have disabled that in panic. Yeah, usually matches are uh, average match of fourteen thousand matches have been. Uh, they have been. Uh, let's see, no, twenty six minutes or twenty five. I have no idea what's really going on here. And he's sending guys up here. I've been trying to build my... I haven't even gotten a chance to build up cities or anything. These helicopters and that should take care of them. For colorblind players, you could tint the colors so you can have yellow or purple. Yeah, purple. Can't even speak. I'm... I'm stressed. <laughs> uh, we should probably be able to customize uh, the coloring a little bit too, yeah. Okay, I'm getting crushed, to be honest. These tanks... Oh. I hear an attack here, yeah. Uh, who's the other player? It, it's uh, Hako, his uh, name is, and he's been playing really, really well. <laughs> and he's new to the game, he just installed it less than a month ago. And how he learned it uh, like this, I have no idea. And it's strikers glide in and just casually annihilate my tanks and they're getting swamped. And then he's switching them up, attacking down here. This is... I think I have to have a new person creating the tutorials for this game. And I think we've just got a vacancy. Alright. Do you know what? This is... Um, 
time comes when, uh, let's see. Time comes when uh, you shouldn't drag it out more than necessary. I've been suffering now for a long time. So uh, I'm gonna end it. When this, uh, when this sad moment occurs, don't be afraid. Uh, don't rage quit, by the way. Press escape and then, oh, okay, okay, you have to see this. No, I should have just quit before this, but check this out. He sent a rocket now, so he had clearly had some, some money there. Those are quite effective. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and it plays Retribution Rocket again. It picked the right song. That was exactly what I composed it for. Let's enjoy the music here. For this final moments. I won't have time to play another game in this stream, unfortunately, so I'll have to set up another stream. Hope you, you guys enjoyed it. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. I will quit. I was, just thought uh, since I composed this, this song, I wanted to play it. And it's very suited. This is exactly what it was composed for. But you want to be on the other end of it. You want to be the one dealing this damage. Yeah. Escape. Resign. Hako, very, very, very well played. See, I I even beat him economy-wise. He did all of that with less economy, and that's even more impressive, because when you have... Oh, I should turn on the music. Sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. When uh, when you have less economy, you really do, are doing something right. In it. Like, he put pressure on me all the time. He harassed me back in my back garden. Uh, dropped paratroops, uh, paratroopers on my own uh, refineries. He took out my... Sh I can't even speak now. Airports, he took out my energy well. So it's not the energy well. He took out the refinery. He hid in the forest. He kept pushing all fronts. He shot down all my SAMs and then he came back with his aircraft. I'd say he did everything right. So I'll forgive myself. Check this out. Structures lost worth 5,106 on me. Zero. I didn't take out a single building. That explains why he could have better, uh, that he could win with less eco. I had to rebuild everything all the time. Stru I managed to kill a few more units, but what does that matter? I had to spend, this is amount, how much capital I had to spend to build my structures that kept getting knocked down. Energy, yeah. So hands down, uh, very, very, very well played, I'd say, Hako. I'll give myself a tiny break because I was uh, looking at the, the chat comments, but that's no excuse. Let's check out. Uh, so, Elliot, I lose most of the time, and I can tell you the suffering is hardcore sometimes, but watching this time, I don't feel so bad. That's good. Yeah, I mean, losing is part of the game, and uh, I played a lot against Basantos, the other developer, and we've come into periods where we get into a losing streak, and literally, when I go to sleep, I dream about the game. I dream about that match, what could I have done differently, and then, especially if you have a losing streak, that's terrible. But, on the other hand, it's really fun to win, and when we introduce this uh, skill-based -based matchmaking, uh, when we get some more players, hopefully you'll end up in games like this all the time where it's quite enjoyable, because it's not so much fun if like the top player uh, is matched against the bottom player. You'll get uh, destroyed or uh, the other... Like, nobody thinks it's fun, because uh, either you're super dominant or you're, you just get crushed. So we're hoping now with, with the skill-based stuff that it's going to work. Notorious, how did he win? Yeah, very... V he played extremely well, I'd say. I mean... I can't... I'm trying to think what I did wrong, because I, I was careful not to overcommit and push into his, uh, like, bee's nest. Um, so I did push forward, I tried to eat away from it, I retracted when I felt like I needed to. And then um, he was really effective at terrorizing my interior uh, of my, my land. So, yeah, all together, it's just extremely good. Stefan. Infancia. So, nerf the tanks, update next game. No, uh, uh, they've been nerfed quite a lot. If you look at uh, the original tanks, I think they had like two or th even three times the, the health. So, they were beasts back then. Uh, helicopters are really good, but I kept wanting to produce helicopters, but he kept sniping out my uh, airstrips or air airports. So, that was um, just... Uh, he, he managed to get through with just a few. Every time I tried to go in to his, I had to pass through all of his, uh, like the funnel where he had all his troops. I couldn't really get in. It's really good played. 
Oh yeah, off the rails. Are you going to add V-Sync options? I tried to play, I was getting 500 FPS, but my GPU was running at 100% even in the menu. Very good point. Yeah, we actually do FPS restriction on uh, the server because we had the same issue on the server. They were like running super hot for no reason. So we should, uh, V-Sync I think is already enabled, but not in the menu. Might be it, but I'll double check that one. Uh, if you say so, it's probably right. So Avocado Fire, I really think Infensia should have a cheat key. Hako <laughs> sends a rocket, Infensia wins Yano. That could happen, you know, that could happen. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, maybe I have a cheat key. In that case, it's not doing very well. Uh, sorry, R uh, Rune Coleman, I, I really want to play another game, but uh, this stream, I was going to try to keep it to an hour because I need to go and pick up my daughter who's visiting a friend. But uh, Ru uh, Rune was, uh, do I say that name? Rune or Rune? Uh, if you're up for it, I'd, I'd love to stream again, and especially if maybe a, a few people wouldn't mind seeing some matches. So I'll keep uh, those of you who I didn't get to play now, I'll keep you uh, on my list and then I'll uh, give you a shout. Uh, and we'll set up another stream. Hopefully, hopefully that should be alright. Because I only have like another 10 minutes to round things off now before I have to go, so there's no point uh, trying to start something. Tanner, uh, I'm gonna do it. let's do a Q&A now. Uh, I'm gonna bring up... Uh, just have a look at that. Uh, I'm actually gonna click this one. It's a bit slow, but it works. So I'm gonna download this replay now, and we share that in the LineWord Discord. Uh, that's another Discord I don't, <laughs> I don't have enough time to spend. In. So anyone who's in the Infensia Discord, apologies there, and um, I'm I'm trying to uh, to get help in the in in those Discords too, so I don't really have to spend um, a lot of the time uh, trying to answer a lot of stuff. Hako, thanks for the match. I hope you will win next time. Thanks, Smirky, cheeky as well. So let's go full camera here. See, I'm nearly crying now. That's how sad I am. <laughs> no, I'm actually happy. The thing is. I should turn off that uh, air aircraft in the background. Uh, the thing is, I'm actually happy when other people win, because I really want the uh, players to experience the, the stuff that we've been feeling while we've been developing this game. It's hard to show it, and even for the first few matches, you play like a, a match, two, three, and it's really difficult to explain to someone what it feels like when you start to get to know the game. So I'm I'm uh, I'm really happy that we're getting all of these uh, new. Uh, I mean, especially since it's free now, we're getting a lot of players in, and like I said, it's been about fourteen thousand matches played so far already, and we always have a, a between I'd say fifteen to thirty games going on simultaneously at all the time. Don't really know if that's a great statistic yet, because um, I mean, we'd we'd need a lot more in the future if it was going to be a, a successful game. But if, uh, considering we haven't done that much promotion, I'm I'm I think we're happy <laughs> with it and especially since it's a multiplayer only at the moment so but you can all uh, help out if you want to help the game and if you want more people to play against uh, tell your friends and stuff that'd be super cool <laughs> my hands are shaking so much stress okay uh, Hako since you your hands are shaking put one right here on your heart here and tell me did you have the stream did you listen to me or did you have the stream vacant no shame if you did I think it's perfectly fine I mean I did stream it after all and you know who you are playing. But I'm just curious, because you played extremely good. All right, um, hello, big bro. I follow uh, you two, uh, two mo months, and I watch tutorial videos. Cool, I'm glad. Uh, hopefully you find some use for out of those tutorials. Uh, let's see, are we gonna watch the demo? Uh, which demo? Uh, this is the demo, we just played it, actually. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you had the stream in the background, that's good. So you, did you hear me panicking and feeling, did you feel good when I, I praised your skills? I hope so. <laughs> I think I get my husband to play against me. Yeah, go for it. The, I, I'd say, the you know, if you find a friend uh, or a husband or someone, a partner or whatever, then uh, if you can play against them, it's really, really uh, good because uh, I think half the fun is just after. I remember when I played paintballs like 20 years ago. Jim Engstrom, who's in the chat now, we used to play paintball uh, every weekend or something, even in the midweek because uh, I was off back in the summers, back when I was in school. Anyway, we used to play paintball and after we played, we'd spend like the, the rest of the week just talking about, do you remember when I went up there and I got shot in the face and you fell down the slope and uh, my friend Marcus stepped on a yogurt can right in the middle of the forest. How you even find one to make a sound from a crunching, uh, crushing uh, yogurt? Uh, Tin, I don't know, but uh, we had a lot of fun just talking about it, and I feel the same game with Line Word. There's so many things in this game like we, that we just played that could have been different. I, I could have done this, I could have done that, or when you did this, it was really powerful. So uh, I, when I speak to Christian, I should say uh, Basantos, the other dev, we um, we spend a lot of time just talking about it, and it's a lot of fun. 
Uh, explain networking, uh, can a hacker? Okay, so a very brief explanation of the networking. I, I presume you mean netcode in this case. And we've actually developed this game on, on an older version of Unity. It's actually still running on uh, the now uh, outdated 2018 long-term support, and the ex support has expired, so we have to upgrade to 2020 or 2021 now. But the reason why we stuck on the old one is because uh, we, we they deprecated the netcode without releasing a new uh, finished solution. There was only preview packages, and we didn't dare to build it on something that could or could not come out of preview. Uh, so, but we did build a netcode in a way that um, we can replace uh, the library, the network library, without too much uh, effort. So all this serialization, like, it takes all the information, serializes it into uh, a stream, and, uh, and then it sends it across the network and unpacks it. So when we we can change the back end of that and, and the library and just use uh, the new the code. So that's uh, going to be pretty soon on our topic because there's a Unity bug that we need to work around and we have to upgrade to Unity 2020 or 2021 for that one. And uh, another just a, a brief thing on the subject of networking is that in the, initially we had the game running on both the server and the client. And we had them both simulate what was going on by sending uh, like uh, commands and uh, the, the units uh, were responding to the commands. But we had a lot of jitter and issues with it. And uh, so we've gone for an option now where the server runs all the logic. Everything is running on the server. And it, all it does is sends all the information to the client to say, you, all of these units, uh, I think it sends four times a second, it sends where the units should be. And then it calculates, uh, an, it's an interpolation there mathematically. It just glides all the units in the right directions to the destinations. So that happens four times a second. And uh, we were a little bit concerned with the bytes you see here, actually. Uh, on the Up here, we've got, uh, I, I think you can still see it. Yeah, here. Bytes sent 21 megabytes and bytes received 781k. Uh, and we were a bit concerned about that one first, but uh, it's not a problem because we thought we'd have to pay a lot of bandwidth, but uh, you get four terabytes of, uh, or four, is it four terabytes? 4,000 gigabytes of bandwidth for each VM, and we're not not even close to consuming that amount. I mean, not even by a, a stretch. So it's from our end, it worked good, but uh, if someone is on uh, maybe a, a, an expensive paid line or something, uh, maybe it's not optimal. So we could probably optimize that a little bit more in the future. Um, but uh, I'd say that that method is working really good. And the good thing about keeping it so the server does all the logic, there's no room for cheating on that front, at least, on the client. Because uh, if you try to speed up the game or something, the units would look like they're, for a half a second, move a little bit faster, and then they'll snap back. So you can't really do any speed cheats, or you can't simulate any movements. And that's why we wanted to keep all the logic running on our servers in the cloud as well. We just want uh, players to have really dumb clients. <laughs> and all the clients do is just take all the information from all the positions, and it says uh, if there's an explosion somewhere, and then you present that on the client, and then it records, of course, the user input and sends it back. Uh, let's see. I'm about to play Basantos. Good luck, Notorious. He's, um, do I say that right? Na Notorious B. Good luck. He's really good. He's better than me. And apparently Hako is too. Uh, let's see. Tra Sorry if I'm missing a few things. Uh, so Travis, uh, love your videos. I'm a para, uh, para parametric CAD modeler by trade. Pa parametric? Parametric? What's a parametric CAD modeler? I have no idea. I'm glad you managed to learn some Blender from me, though. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. No. So, treasonable doubt. Your work is incredible and inspirational. Well, that's a nice comment to say. Thank you for all you do, Infancia, and hello to everyone in this great community. You're all a great company, and I wish you well. That's a very nice thing to say. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alex Rack to Dev, one of my admins from the Infensia Discord. Thank you very much. They're organizing the weekly modeling challenge there. Al Alex uh, Rack to is, and also uh, Arvid, who, who depart departed earlier. That sounded horrible. He didn't. He just left the, the stream because uh, he, he goes to bed super early that day for some reason. Right. Uh, sorry if I'm missing the stuff left and right. Holler, Infensia, Swagat. Nice. All right. Let's see. I've got. Um, Probably about four minutes left. So at Infensia, if you want to do something a little bit, if you want to send up a question or anything, would be fun to see both screen. I'm just scrolling up a little bit. Yeah, we should really share both. But the replay, I've downloaded that one. So I'll uh, put a link to that one. You can download the demo of the game and then just see from both perspectives. 
Al Einstein, yeah, I'm gonna remember to pick up my daughter. She's about 20 minutes away from here, so I've got another three minutes. So I should start my outro now, should I? It's been an outro now since I lost. I'm just depressed now. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep again. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, I'm actually happy. Uh, let's see. It was good to watching you play. Thanks. Can't wait to see the misfit troops in the game. Oh yeah, they're not gonna make. Oh, Smurf, how are you doing? Yeah, they're they're not gonna make it into this game, but they'll be in other games. I'm really excited about uh, the way they're gonna be played as well. Uh, so, I, uh, by the way, can you rate my renders? Uh, if you join the ch uh, challenge, the weekly challenge, because uh, and and do the ones that are uh, the monthly ones that I do videos about. So, I, I, unfortunately, I miss a lot of communication attempts to me. I get a lot of DMs, and I, I, I should really disable DMs in the Discord. But then I might miss something if someone says that there's like a spam attack or something. So I'm a bit afraid to do it, but I, I feel terrible because I, I don't really find the time to, uh, to organize myself to respond to things. So uh, there's uh, hope. <laughs> no hard feelings, I hope. Uh, uh, so Rune, I'm going to call you Rune because that's a Swedish name, <laughs> but it's probably not a Swedish name. But cool, cool man, cool, cool guy. Uh, how much is it going to cost? Uh, it's we we pretty much set on a price, but we can't announce it yet in case we do any small changes. But let me say that it's going to be an early bird discount when it's released in the near future, and also the price should not be uh, since we're going to continue to develop the game over the coming years then uh, we're going to start at a lower price, so I think you should find it to be very reasonable compared to most games. Best network solution? Don't know yet. I think uh, we're going to review our options very shortly, and I think we're going to go with the official uh, netcode from Unity. So, All right. That's going to be it this week. Uh, if you're interested to hear a little bit more about... Uh, I didn't speak that much about releasing a game on Steam, but uh, I spoke a little bit in, early in the stream about uh, Nextfest. So if you're interested about that one and you just join now, uh, hopefully you missed seeing me lose the game <laughs> if you just joined. But the, check out the stream again and check in the beginning and listen a little bit to there. And hopefully I'll create a little bit more uh, stuff content about it. We've learned so much about uh, creating a game, building it, trying to promote it, do's and don'ts about publishers. We've been in publishing negotiations back and forth. Uh, we've uh, finally decided to go for a self-launch. So, and it's so many things to talk about, really. There's so many things. Also, in the beginning of the stream, stream I, I mentioned Game Dev TV, and this is not a sponsored uh, call out or anything, but I did a podcast for them, or with them, I should say, and if you look at the beginning of the stream, um, there's a, a one and a half hour podcast that I did with uh, Game Dev TV, and I spoke TV, and I spoke about uh, creating a Steam game and launching it. So there's probably a lot of stuff there to listen to. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, go back to your normal lives now. Be productive. Be creative. Have a lot of fun. Do stuff in Blender. Develop stuff in uh, prototypes and stuff in Unity. Have a lot of fun. And don't forget to come back next Thursday because we're going to do something fun again. It's either going to be a premiere or I'm going to stream. And I think I'm going to stream a few games through the week as well. So keep your eyes posted because I actually like playing the game. And if I can combine that with some streaming, some interactions, humiliate myself losing against uh, new demo players, well, so be it. I'll do it. So until next week. Have a great one. I'll see you then. Bye for now. Here's the end button. Found it.